As an affiliate marketer, one of the biggest struggles I have is website hosting. Uh, I'm constantly building out websites, landing pages, uh, content, and uh, trying to build bigger, more niche-focused websites. I've got my ad agency websites, so I, I'm always building out websites and customizing websites, and uh, I've been using a lot of different web hosting companies. Um, this is the most recent one that I've really jumped into, and I, I love it. Um, it is Hostinger. Um, link below, if you uh, if you'd use my link, get a couple months free. Uh, I am using their Cloud um, Enterprise uh, Edition. I'm gonna take you behind the scenes in a second. Um, I'm using their big one, um, it's 30 bucks a month, uh, still cheaper than what I was uh, using with another uh, another company. I was with SiteGround, um, still cheaper and getting a ton, um, but there's a lot of different choices that you can have, um, specifically on building WordPress websites. So um, this gives me the capability of putting up to 300 websites on their platform. All of them actually do. Um, and depending on what your, uh, your RAM requirements are, um, CPU requirements, storage, you know, yada, yada, yada. There's a lot of information that um, depending where you are in your, uh, your, your marketing journey, um, you may or may not require kind of the, uh, the plan, plan I'm using. But um, with my link, you'll get three months free. And uh, again, for me, what was really, really important was ease of use and ease of transition. So I moved a lot of websites away from site, uh, SiteGround, and they have um, you know free one-click WordPress installations. They have free automatic website migrations. Now, um, the migrations generally take about a day, depending on how many websites you're doing. You can do three websites at a time. Um, some of them will just automatically go. Um, if you have bigger, um, you know, fat websites with tons of content, it takes about 24 hours. Um, from my experience, they tell you three to four days. I never had one take more than 24 hours. Um, one of the challenges is um, making sure you have enough hosting on your previous provider um, because what they will do is uh, they'll basically duplicate your website before yanking it over on the other web uh, on the other provider because um, they're putting a backup on there. And so uh, what you do need to do is make sure that you have enough room for, let's just say you have a set, you know, four gigabyte website. Uh, make sure that your hosting has eight gigabytes currently to transfer. Um, otherwise, you will get a, get a bit of an issue. So um, there are. I'm not going to go too deep into the security or the service. Service has been fantastic. Um, immediate. Uh, every time I have a problem, I'm chatting with somebody within three to four minutes, and problem solved. Quite frankly, um, within ten minutes. Uh, usually user error, <laughs> frankly. Um, it's usually been my issue, but um, very, very happy with them. And again, it, there's WordPress hosting, there's website building, um, and there's a lot of different options for your website hosting, whether it be um, you know uh, just general websites, um, cloud hosting, or VPS. Um, so let's go behind the scenes. So um, as mentioned, I've got 23 websites on this already. Uh, I still have a couple other um, you know web hosting companies that are that are out there. Uh, I have uh, a couple of my websites, uh, my agency sites. I've got some, um, you know, some, re uh, I guess, uh, general uh, affiliate marketing websites. So let's talk about that. So um, from the from the front, you can claim a free domain. I don't ever do that. I always register my domains elsewhere, um, and I use a couple different companies. I use um, Namecheap. I use GoDaddy. I use One and One, which is I now Ionos, um, and Cloudflare. Um, so I don't ever ever really realize or um, need any uh, domain host or do domains uh, from my web host because if I do leave the web host, I wanna make sure that I have the domain still. Um, so I just recommend that. So with the package, um, you'll get web website um, hosting and uh, an email. So let's dig in deep. So um, as a sample, um, you know, on the back end, very easy to see what they do, um, whether it's just general, you know, performance security, emails. So I, I intentionally didn't set up an email on this particular account because I just wanted to show you how easy it is. Um, but I also want to run a speed test on my website just to show you kind of um, one of the nice things about this um, is, uh, is they do offer a speed test so you can understand exactly how fast your, uh, your site um, page speeds are. Uh, because if you are doing any kind of SEO work or if you're doing any kind of paid search and you're driving people to a website, um, obviously uh, that is a critical piece. So um, what it does, it gives you an idea of what's going on on the website, um, how things are, um, things that you can work on. So to me, this is really important because then I want to go through um, and do again the same thing on, on a mobile device because um, a lot of people are looking at mobile and see exactly what 
is um, the speed of the page and then make the adjustments based on it. So this is kind of a new one. Um, obviously, I haven't optimized it yet. I'm just filling it with content right now. Um, and I will start to uh, you know optimize it for affiliate marketing uh, plans, whether it be um, through Amazon or just affiliate products. Um, so again, desktop and mobile, well, I wanted to specifically show you that there are different scores. So you know, for me, it's more important to optimize for m mobile because mobile is kind of the uh, thing everybody does. But let's go back to uh, you know that general dashboard here uh, and set up a, 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 an email. So you know, real simply, what you do is um, you have to select a plan. Um, they give you uh, a gigabyte of storage per account. Um, so I'll let you kind of see exactly you know what what what's on there. Uh, and if you want to you know pause and uh, pause the video and read this. Um, but really, what I'll do is just hit select. Um, you know, I, I always go with the free plans for emails because I, I really don't use that many. I set up an email, I set up a password, um, I create the new account. So we'll go ahead and uh, just create something. Um, and we'll create the new account. And then it gets you access to your webmail. And uh, if you need to, you can copy over the passwords um, and uh, and you know see the accounts. Now you can share the login info. You can um, you know do a lot of different things from there. Um, but what I do recommend is that you uh, you know sync it up with Gmail or something like that, um, and that'll help you uh, you know. And that way you have an email immediately uh, that you can start sending from and sending to. Um, for any of your uh, email accounts. So um, let's talk about the WordPress behind the scenes now. So a um, couple nice features. Um, they do automatically uh, help you with a light speed plugin. Um, there's a caching plugin. Um, you can flush the cache whenever you want. They uh, let you know about any updates. Um, the, the SSL certificate comes free with this and uh, they suggest some plugins and everything like that. But you know, the nice thing for me is being able to quickly uh, set up uh, HTTPS um, for my website. You can put these things in uh, maintenance mode, uh, but you can really see all the information that you need very quickly. It has a, a quick file manager that allows you to go right to your, you know, to your stuff. Um, and so it's a very simple and easy to use platform. Um, and it allows you to kind of do all the files and it's, you know, just click and uh, click and move on. Um, so I do want to again remind you that um, if you hit my link below, you'll get three months uh, free. Um, it's the best experience I've had so far with a web hosting company. Um, and they do allow you, if you have a ton of websites, now I, I do, um, once you max out your, um, your current hosting plan, you can just add in another hosting plan. You don't necessarily have to upgrade. You can just go with two of them, three of them, um, depending on what suits you best for the, uh, the finances. So um, again, hit the link below, get signed up, and uh, let me know your thoughts about what, what web hosting you like. And uh, thanks for watching.